Good evening, guys. Welcome. My name is Emily. I'm going to be guiding you through a slow flow vinyasa, very gentle, very accessible to all levels of practitioners. Um, I'll give you some options and some different alternatives for different poses, just in case you have sore knees or lower back issues, tight hamstrings. With that being said, we'll go ahead, we'll just go ahead and get started right away. For those that jump in, they can also watch the replay and jump in wherever you are. Go ahead, let's start lying down on our backs, bringing the soles of our feet together, butterflying out our knees. So Supta Baddha Konasana. Recline all the way down onto the floor. Maybe make any adjustments to the body, lifting up our heart, drawing our shoulders back and down so they're flat on the earth. Allow the hips, maybe just do a little wiggle through the hips, allowing the hip flexors to open. Placing the right hand onto your heart center and the left hand onto your belly. Close the eyes. Start to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Quieting the mind. Releasing any chit chatter, any worry, any stress. Let it all wash off the body for these next few minutes. Connecting with the slow fluid inhales and the slow fluid exhales. So the breath is emulating waves. Did you feel your belly rise and fall? That breath is slowly rolling in towards the seashore and slowly dissolving back into the great abyss. Let that breath be rhythmic, bringing us into the present moment. And take this moment to canvas the body and the hips may be a little tight. You might feel some tension, tightness. And then notice areas of strength within the body. Those areas that might feel energetic, strong. And as we take up the last few moments here, set an intention. And I'll guide your intention tonight. It's Sankalpa in Sanskrit, and we're going to send a loving-kindness intention tonight as it's Earth Day today. First, we're going to set loving-kindness to ourselves, taking this moment, this investment in our well-being and our fitness and health, and then sending out loving-kindness to someone, an individual that might need a little extra love. And then sending out that loving kindness, that energy out into the greater world, into our environment, to the earth. So whenever you feel that your mind is wandering, and which it of course will throughout the practice, just come back to that loving kindness, that feeling, that sensation towards ourselves, towards another, towards the earth. Let's go ahead and take our arms and reach them up overhead, elongating the sides of the body, reaching through the fingertips as we walk, maybe one hand a little farther than the other, left and right, feeling the sides of the body expand. And then reach both arms as far as they'll go, and then we're going to go ahead and on the next exhale, take a little sit up, a little crunch, drawing our fingers towards our toes, looking at our belly button. Inhale, reach the arms and lengthen up, up overhead. And exhale, let's squeeze them down towards the toes, drawing the abdomen in. Inhale, reach and lengthen. And exhale, lift the heart, gaze to the toes. Inhale, two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, reach. And exhale to the toes. Inhale, overhead, and then on the exhale, draw the knees into our chest. Squeeze them in, give them a hug, and maybe sway side to side, massage the lower back. Massaging the lower back, giving ourselves a little love, a little self-care. And then reaching down for our ankles, placing them next to our glutes, hips distance apart, palms of the hands come alongside the body. 
doing a flowing bridge pose. What this means is as we lift our hips, we lift our arms. Inhale, lift the hips up to the sky, and the arms will reach up overhead, full breath, and on the exhale, slowly lowering down vertebrae by vertebrae. The breath is nice and long. Inhale, reach overhead, hips high. That chest is reaching to the chin, and exhale, start to sink it down low. Three more. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the heart, arms up. Exhale, release it all the way down. Again, flowing with the breath. Two more. Inhale. Connecting with that ujjayi breath, if that's part of the practice for you. Measuring breath with movement, and exhale, sinking it back down low. Let's take our arms, tee them off to the side of the body, and like windshield wipers, just gotta let the legs go left and right. No rhyme or reason, going at your pace, not following the breath per se, but the sensations in the body, maybe you stay on one side a little bit longer than the other. Stretching out the psoas, the side bodies, in the quadricep, the hip flexors. Noticing the sensations. Coming back up to center, draw the knees back in for one more hug as we rock back and forth the length of the mat, front to back, like a big rocking chair, waking up our spinal column. And then we'll come up into an easy seated position after three or four rolls. Sitting nice and tall, coming into your favorite seat, whether that's Indian style, heels, heels aligned at the coccyx, half lotus, full lotus. Do a couple circles of your shoulders as we get settled. Pulling the shoulders back and down. And let's change the direction, draw the shoulders forward. And then three times, draw the shoulders, squeeze into the ears and drop them away. Two more, squeeze them up tight, let them fall. Last one, squeeze and release. Inhale, let's sweep our arms up overhead. And I'm gonna mirror you, so taking the right arm down to the side of the body, slight bend in the elbow. Reach the left arm high, and then go ahead and stack the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, go a little bit deeper. Maybe option coming down to the forearm. Keeping that right shoulder drawn back, the left shoulder drawn back. Everything open, gazing our drishti up towards that left hand. Sinking that left hip down into the mat so you feel the side body, the ribs expand and the energy all the way to the fingertip. Let's go ahead and walk that right hand back to the hip as we inhale, we lift high. On the exhale, we sink that left hand down low, bending the elbow slightly. Inhale, reach and lengthen opposite ways. Go ahead and stack that left shoulder over top. Sorry, the right shoulder over top of the left. We're gonna go ahead, if you want that little extra stretch, going down to that left forearm, sinking that right hip into the earth, opening the heart, gazing up towards the right hand. One more breath. We're gonna go ahead and walk the left hand towards the hip. Inhale, reach the arms high. We're gonna take that right hand behind the back at the base of the spine, reversing the fingertips. Inhale, that left arm. Exhale, cross the left hand to the right knee. Inhale, sit tall, begin the twist. Lower back, midsection, shoulders, and gaze. Inhale, the spine is long. And exhale, we twist a little bit deeper. Imagine that old school barber shop pull, the red and white candy stripes. And that's what we're doing. We're twisting from the bottom all the way up to the top. One more breath. Go ahead and walk the hands forward as we untwist, bringing our gaze forward first, shoulders, midsection, lower back, little circle the shoulders back and down as we inhale, arms up, overhead, that left hand this time back behind us, reverse the fingers at the base of the spine, inhale, the right arm up, right hand, left knee, inhale, the spine long, sit tall, exhale, begin the twist, lower back, midsection, shoulders, and gaze, inhale, sit tall, exhale, twist deeper, Utilizing twists in our practice to help detoxify the internal organs. Imagine your center as a washcloth, a dirty kitchen washcloth, and you're wringing it out 
of all that dirt and muck. So on an untwist, bringing the gaze forward, walking the hands back to the knees, shoulders, midsection, lower back. One more circle, the shoulders back and down, arms reach up high, last time. Exhale, hinge forward as we lead with our heart, hinge at the hips, walk our hands off to the top of the mat. Let everything fall heavy, let the fall forehead fall to the earth. Sink our tailbone down and close our eyes again and have that conscious awareness of the physical body, noticing the areas of weakness and of strength as we wake up the body, bringing in some movement, a slow, gentle flow. And we'll slowly start to walk our hands back as we stack the vertebrae. Shoulders are last over the hips as we swing our legs around, or you can uncross your ankles and come into tabletop position on all fours. Coming into our cats and cow, let's go ahead and finger spread nice and wide. Tops of our feet press into the earth. Drop the belly down, inhale, looking up. Exhale, rounding out the back, chin to chest, push the floor away. Inhale, drop the belly down, look up. Exhale, rounding out the back into that cat, tucking your tailbone under, feeling the back reach to the sky. Inhale, open our heart center, gaze between our third eye. And exhale, rounding out the back, chin to chest. Two more, flowing with the breath. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we round. Inhale, we drop the chest and open. And exhale, we round it out. Come back to center, neutral spine. Take the right leg behind us, hip height, pressing onto the ball of the foot, spreading the toes nice and wide. We're gonna go ahead and take that right leg, inhale, really strengthen it. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right shoulder, squeeze it forward, working our obliques here. Inhale, take it back, cross it over the left leg, and tap your big toe on the earth. Exhale, bring the knee forward to shoulder, squeeze it forward, feel the obliques. Inhale, lengthen, stretching it back, gazing and tapping the toe. Exhale for three, bring it forward. I like to imagine that you're a Dalmatian puppy in that fire hydrant. I have silly imagery, but it kind of helps you bring that knee a little bit higher and a little bit closer to that shoulder. Inhale, extend and tap. Last one. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, create the space and elongate. Let's keep that right leg lifted, bring it back and line up the torso, plant the right hand down and take the left arm forward, finding spinal balance. Three times here, working the abdomen. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring the knee to elbow, squeeze it together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze, lift it high. Inhale, lengthen. Last one, exhale, squeeze, hold, hover here, breathe. Keep drawing it into the center. One more breath. Inhale, reach and lengthen, bend the right knee, reach the left hand around across the top of the ankle, top of the foot, start to kick into that left hand, start to open up your hip flexor, gazing, drishti down towards the mat at a focal point, and so give you stability. Or option, take your gaze over the left shoulder. Challenging your balance and stability. One more breath, kick a little higher, feel the quadriceps stretch, and release it on down. Giving that right arm a little rest. I'm gonna come over here just to show you thread the needle. We're gonna thread that right arm, take it out perpendicular to the body, thread it underneath the torso, where the, left, the right shoulder rests, ear comes down to the mat, the left arm extends up overhead. And then these magic words, relax, Release, let go. Let your upper body just melt into the earth. Let the earth come up to support it. Sinking into that right shoulder. If you sit at the computer for long hours, this should feel wonderful. Releasing tension on the wrist. Stretching out that neck cavity. And then slowly, when you're ready, start to walk that left hand underneath our shoulder. We'll draw the right arm back through, coming back to that tabletop position on all fours. 
We'll go ahead, we'll switch to the left side this time, taking the left leg behind us. Hip height, pressing out through the ball of the foot, spreading the toes nice and wide. Let's go ahead, we're gonna do the same sequence. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bring that left knee to the left shoulder, squeeze it forward. Inhale, lengthen, crossing it back, gazing at that toe as we tap it on the mat. Exhale, bring it forward, squeeze it to shoulder. Inhale, lengthen, cross it over, gazing back. Three more. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, cross it over, gazing back, tapping the toe. Last two. Exhale. Inhale. And last one, exhale, bring it forward. Tap the shoulder if you can. Inhale, cross it over, gazing back. Bringing that left leg in line with the torso, planting the left hand down, bringing the right arm forward. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, bring the knee to elbow underneath the chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze, knee to elbow. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, squeeze. Hold here, two. One more breath, lift it really high. Reach and lengthen. Bend that left knee, reach around to clasp the top of the ankle, start to kick into that hand. Kick really high, opening up the hip flexor. Breathing, open up your collarbone, maybe take your drishti or gaze, challenge yourself over the right shoulder. One more breath, and slowly release it on down. Giving that left arm a little break, that thread the needle, left arm to the side, extend it out, sort it underneath the torso, where the left shoulder comes to the earth, ear rest, and the right arm extends out forward, finding that place of peace, rest, melting into the earth. One more breath, softening the upper body. Let's walk the right hand back under the shoulder. Left arm draws back through, tabletop position. Let's curl our toes under. We're gonna inhale like a cat and cow, looking up. And on the exhale, let's round out the back, take our hips up as we come into our first downward dog. Walking our feet out here, left and right, left and right. Take the dog for a walk, fingers spread nice and wide, starfish out, pressing in the index finger and thumb. It's gonna alleviate some stress on those wrists. Let's come up onto our tippy toes. And we're gonna slowly sink our heels over to the right. So pivot the soles of the feet so they come down to the mat. Push through both hands, equally distributing the weights. Get a nice stretch that left side body as we come back up to our tippy toes. And sink the heels over to the left side. Come back up to the tippy toes and sink the heels towards the earth. Take a breath here, gaze up between the inner thighs with the head hang heavy. And then slowly look up at our hands as we take baby steps forward, coming to the top of our mat. Or our feet are just gonna be hip systems apart, hanging heavy over, from opposite elbows and maybe just sway side to side like a pendulum, left to right, right to left. Again, notice the body in the areas where you might feel tight, bending the knees if the hamstrings feel a little warm. And coming back to center, release the hands down, bend the knees, and we'll go ahead and slowly begin to roll up. Tucking the tailbone vertebrae stack as we roll all the way up into standing. From here, let's go ahead and roll the sh shoulders back. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up overhead. Interlace the fingers, with the palms face up. So we inhale, we're gonna exhale over to the right side, taking a side body stretch. Inhale, lift back up to center. Exhale, over to the left side. Inhale, back up to center, over to the right. Inhale, center, over to the left. One more round. Inhale, working the obliques here and stretching. Inhale, center and over to the left. 
Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, take the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Rock the shoulders together. Send the hips forward and they start to hinge back. So taking that chest expansion. Send our hips forward. Find the balance of our weight. Let our head fall in line with curvature of our spine. Breathe through the diaphragm. Support the lower back. Inhale, go a little deeper. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, start to forward fold with our hands bound and come into a forward fold. Two breath here. Release the hands to the lower back. Release the arms all the way down. Bend the knees. Begin to roll back up again. Maybe a little quicker to the click. And we're going to come all the way back up to that standing position. We're going to do a variation on a half sun salutation. So coming just up to the top of the mat, we can stay hips distance apart. We're going to lift our kneecaps, rotate the thighs in, tailbone under. Inhale, circle sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, we're going to twist to the right side as we open up our arms like a rainbow. Inhale, back up to center. We're going to twist to the left as we open our arms up like a big rainbow. Inhale, back up to center. As we exhale through the heart, we're going to come down as we squat down on our toes. We're going to reach out forward maybe two feet. So our heels can still be lifted. We're just reaching forward. Inhale, halfway, flatten our back. Our hands can be on our shins. Exhale, use our calves to pull ourselves towards our legs. Inhale, circle, sweep our arms up overhead. And twist to the right. Open the arms like a rainbow. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale to the left. Open the arms. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale through the heart. Bend our knees to that squat. Reach forward. Inhale, halfway for length. Exhale, pull yourself to the legs and the exhale. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale to the right. Open the arms. Gentle twist. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Exhale through the heart. Forward fold. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms forward. Inhale. Halfway for length. Flatten the back. Tabletop. Exhale. Pull yourself to the legs. Inhale. Reach the arms up overhead last time. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale through the heart. Squat down. Reach forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, sweep to the sky. Exhale, heart, samastitihi. Resetting, breathing. As this is just a gentle flow class this evening, I'm going to incorporate a moon salutation this evening. So inhale, we're going to sweep our arms up overhead, looking up. Exhale, through the heart center, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway for length, flatten the back. Exhale, fold, step the right foot back, drop down to the right knee, top of the right foot unfolds. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, release, frame the foot, curl your toes, step back down, we're dog. One breath here. Looking up on our hands, inhale, exhale, step the right foot forward, down to the left knee, top of the left foot unfolds. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, release the hands to frame the foot. Push the toes off to meet the right. Top of the mat, inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, sweep to the sky. Exhale through the heart. Inhale, halfway for length. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back this time to start. Drop down to the knee, top of the foot unfolds. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, release the hands to frame the foot, curl the toes, step it back, downward dog. One breath. Look up with the hands, inhale. We exhale, step the left foot forward, drop down to the right knee, top of the right foot unfolds. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, release the hands, frame the foot, curl the toes, push forward, top of the mat, inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, sweep to the sky, reaching up, looking up. Exhale, 
through the heart center. We'll go two more rounds. Inhale, flatten the back. Exhale, plant the hands, set the right foot back, down to the knee, tuck the foot and folds. Inhale, tuck the tailbone, reach up. Exhale, release, frame the foot, curl the toes, step back, downward dog, one breath. Look up at the hands, inhale, and exhale, set the right foot, drop down to the knee, tuck foot on folds, inhale, lift overhead. Exhale, release the hands to frame the foot. Curl the toes, send it forward. Inhale, halfway for length. Exhale, fold completely. Inhale, circle sweep to the sky. Last round through the heart. Inhale, halfway for length. Exhale, plant the hands at the left foot back. Drop to the knee, top of the foot unfolds. Inhale, tilt the pelvis forward and down. Exhale, release the hands, frame the foot. Curl the toes, step it back. Downward facing dog, one breath, heels melting, gaze between the thighs, look up at the hands, exhale, left foot forward, drop to the knee, inhale, lengthen up overhead, reach, exhale, release, curl the toes, push it forward, step it to the top, inhale, lengthen, exhale, hold, inhale, circle, sweep up, Come back to that samasthiti. Take a moment to ground yourself and we come back to that intention, that mantra, that loving kindness. Come back to the fluidity of the breath. Slow fluid inhales and slow fluid exhales. We're going to start with Rikshasana, tree pose. So stepping the feet just hips distance apart. We're going to go ahead and start with that left leg. So shifting our weight over to the left side, we're going to take that right leg, all mirror you, so we're going to take that right leg, bringing it three options. Let's go ahead. Three options, start with the sole of the foot to the inside of the ankle, that's the kickstand, to the calf, or jump over the knee to place it on the inner thigh. Finding a focal point, if I would have started there, will help give you some balance. Then we'll bring our hands then to heart center. Hold here for a moment and breathe. Tuck the tailbone under, shoulders away from the ears. If you'd like to allow your arms, your branches to grow, lifting them up overhead. Holding and breathing. I'm going to go ahead and step to the top of the mat here so you, you can transition, keeping that tree pose. One more breath, feeling that. Four corners melt into the earth of the foot. We're going to keep that right knee lifted and elevated. We're going to bring it forward. We're going to transition. If your arms are up overhead, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. You can always bring the hands to heart center. We're going to go to warrior three, tilting the pelvis, hinging forward, creating the letter T with the body. Sending that right leg straight back. Virabhadrasana three. From here, you can play with your arms, airplane, superman. Maintain them at heart center. You can always touch down if you need to. A little bit of stability. Two more breaths, strengthening that standing leg. Rooting the sole into the earth. We're going to come back, step it straight back, high lunge. Our arms can again lift up overhead. We're on the ball of the foot, the back foot. And here we're taking that left hip, bringing it back, and sending the right hip forward. So you're getting a nice stretch through this right hip flexor. You can try to straighten your leg as much as you like, or keep a bend in the knee if the hamstrings are tight. Try to tuck the ribs in, shoulders soft. Two more breaths. Let's open up, warrior two. Spin the back foot flat, open the arms the length of the mat. You wanna elongate the stance between the legs. Shoulders soft, shoulders are square. Over the hips, tailbone tucked under. Take a peek at your left knee. Make sure you can see the big toes sneaking out. And the arms are relaxed. Gentle gaze over that front middle finger. We're going to go ahead and inhale, extend that left leg. And exhale, bend. 90 degrees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Two more. Inhale. Inhale, last one. 
Exhale, bend. Side angle of your choice. You can take the forearm to the top of the knee. The right arm's gonna extend out overhead. Option two, maybe you wanna go ahead and take the fingertips down to the mats. Option three, maybe you wanna take a bind, internally rotating the right arm around, and that left arm comes underneath to grab the fingertips with the opposite hands. Option here is making sure that that right shoulder stays open, heart lifted. We can always use a block underneath that hand or a pillow. Options all available to you. We can stay up here on the forearm if that's the most comfortable, listening to your body and what it wants to do this evening. From here, we're gonna take a twist. So we're gonna go ahead and take that right hand down. So we pivot on the right tippy toes. We're gonna take that left arm up to the sky. Keeping that knee tucked into our chest, gazing up at that left hand, the thumb. Holding, breathing, one more breath. We'll go ahead and come down, release the left hand down. Dropping down to the right knee, top of the right foot unfolds. Tuck the tailbone as we lift the arms up overhead. Option staying here if you like. Two options here. You can take the hands behind the back, grabbing opposite elbows. Or you can take reverse namaste hands, prayer hands behind the shoulder blades. Tilt the pelvis forward and down, opening up the hip flexor. Releasing the energy, any energy in our hips. Stress, worry. We often think of our shoulders as areas that we hold our emotions, but there are other areas within the body. Think about when you get really nervous and you might have knots in your stomach. We also have Stress and worry in our hips, holding negative emotions, using these stretches to release and let go. Inhale the arms up overhead. Count to the stretch, exhale, release the hands. Half split, extending that left leg so the sole of the foot comes off the mat, trying to stretch it out as much as we can. Inhale like a sun salutation, flatten your back. Draw your left hip back into that socket and lead with your heart as you melt over top by that front leg. Let everything just like wax on a candle, drip down the candlestick. Going lower and deeper into the stretch. We're gonna go ahead and start to bend that left knee, keeping the right hand underneath I'm going to come and show you here underneath the right shoulder. We're going to take that left hand to the left knee and we're going to start to slowly push it away from the body. Where it feels comfortable will be on the outer sole of that left foot. And then we're trying to extend both arms if it's available and start to openly twist over that left shoulder, gazing out. The modification on pigeon. Pigeon can often be, feel really intense. This is a little less intense, a little bit more mindful of the knees. If that back needs a little bit extra support, we can always bend the mat and make it twofold. Slowly bringing that knee back into our heart space. We're gonna frame the foot. Option stepping back to downward dog or coming into a plank pose, top of a push up, and going through a vinyasa. Elbows squeeze into the ribs as we try to hover, push through upward facing dog. Flip the toes, hips to the sky. Downward facing dog, take one grounding breath here. Looking up at our hands, on the exhale, set the left foot forward, right foot to touch, inhale halfway for length, exhale fold, inhale circle sweep the arms up overhead, hands come back to heart center. Take that right leg out. Hips the slip apart, coming back into that tree pose. So this time we're shifting over to the right side. I'll mirror you here. We're gonna go ahead, three options again, taking the sole of the foot to the ankle, to the inner thigh, or to the calf. Choosing your variation, trying to mirror the opposite leg, and bringing our hands to heart center. Breathing. Noticing, I like this exercise, when we go into balances, noticing if one leg is stronger than the other. When you're ready, you can allow your arms to gravitate to the sky, growing those limbs. 
But just think about what shoulder you might favor that you might put a bag or a purse over every day, which one that is. And then think about if you're a driver of a car, if you're constantly opening up that hip, or if you're more the passenger, or when you're in line at the grocery store, which hip you shift your weight over to. From here, we're gonna keep that left knee lifted. I'm gonna come up to the top of the mat, keep it in front of our bodies. As we hinge to warrior three, you can bring our hands to heart center if you like, a little easier transition. Creating the letter T with our body. You can play with the arms here, airplane, Superman. Hands can remain at heart center. Maybe touch down, stabilize. And step it back slowly in that high lunge. The right knee is forward. Arms lift back up overhead if they're not already there. Right hip back, left hip forward. Trying to straighten that back leg, sending the heel to the back of the room. Feeling a nice stretch through the hamstring, through the calf muscle. Keeping that right knee at a 90 degree angle. Shoulders soft away from the ears. One more breath. Open up warrior two, opening up the hips, reaching front to back, shoulders stack square over top of the hips. Take a peek at that right big toe, make sure you can see it sneaking out, and sharing the weight between both legs, front and back. Two more breath. Maybe go a little deeper, engaging that quadricep muscle, feel the strength. And then inhale, we're gonna extend both legs. Triangle base. Exhale, bend the knee, right knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Options here. Side angle. Taking the right forearm to the top of the right knee. That left arm comes overhead, tricep wanting to kiss the ear. Option two, maybe a block, a pillow, or maybe just a finger pass. Imagine a tennis ball underneath the palm of the hand inside of the right foot. Option three, taking that left arm around the back to reach towards that hip crease, and that right arm sneaks underneath to reach around for the fingertips, finding that bind. Choosing your variation. Holding two more breaths. Heart lifted. Collarbone open. From whichever variation you have, we're gonna take that left hand down and we're gonna pivot on the left tippy toes and come into a twist, opening up that right arm to the sky. Keeping the right knee tucked into the heart. One more breath. Release the right hand down to frame the foot, dropping down to that left knee, top of the left foot unfolds. Tucking Tilting the pelvis forward and down, we're going to lift our arms up overhead, and then the options stay here if you'd like, or taking the opposite elbows behind the back, or taking that reverse namaste, palms of the hands come together, and our hands come up near our shoulder blades. Tilt the pelvis forward and down again, feeling that left hip flexor open up and release that energy. Breathe into areas of tightness, using that prana, that energy, the breath in Sanskrit. So release that tension. Lift the arms up overhead. Counter pose, exhale, release the hands, half split. Extending the right leg so the sole of the foot comes off the mat. Inhale, lengthen, draw the right hip back. Exhale, melting over that right leg. Breathing. Quieting the mind, guiding the breath. Going into that modified pigeon, bending the right knee, keeping that left hand underneath the left shoulder, taking the right hand to the right knee, start to send it away from the body as you come to the outer sole, the right foot, and we gaze out openly twisting towards the right side, gazing out over the right shoulder, trying to extend both arms as far as they'll go. Slowly guide the knee back into our hearts. Frame the foot. 
We're gonna step it back as we curl our toes under, plank pose. Maybe you go straight to downward dog or maybe you engage in that vinyasa, shifting forward, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up or facing dog, flip the toes, hips to the sky. We meet back, downward dog. Reset here, breathe. I'm gonna do a little pranayama exercise. Again, prana, that energy and breath. So we're gonna do lion's breath tonight. We're gonna breathe in a fresh start, new beginning, light and love through the nose. And the exhale, we're gonna exhale allow lion's roar, letting go of anything no longer serving a purpose for us through our mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, roar through the mouth. <sighs> Make it as big as you can. Inhale. And let go. <sighs> Last one. Go crazy with it. Inhale. Bring in the light and the love. Let out the old. <sighs> Let's go ahead and let it resonate. One more breath. We're going to come down to our knees to so that tabletop position again. We can swing our legs around or cross our ankles. Sit back over our heels. And we're going to go ahead stretch our legs out to the top of the mats. So here, we're gonna go ahead and get the fleshy part of our booties out of the way. Take our hands just alongside the body, right underneath our shoulders. Just a quick engagement, a little test to see our strength in our legs. Dandasana pose, lift up through the crown of the head like Pinocchio. We're gonna go ahead, lift our heels, maybe two inches off the mat as we feel the quadriceps engaged. Try not to sink forward or sit back, sit nice and tall, breathe through it. A couple breath in, you might feel the legs shake. Feel the core activate, push through the palms of the hands, feel strong. One more breath, lift the heels as high as you can go and release the heels down. Keep that amazing posture, inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, lead at the heart. Wherever that hinge stops, release the hands to the calves, the ankles, the soles of the feet. Inhale like a sun salutation. Look at the toes, flatten the back. Feel the belly expand like a balloon. And exhale, bend the elbows as we start to draw ourselves closer to the legs. Again, feel the belly as you inhale, expand like a balloon. And exhale, draw yourself closer to the legs. Even if your hands are on your calves, try to keep the hamstrings pressed into the earth. You can slowly, with the breath, you'll feel yourself hinge further forward, and then maybe you walk your hands a little bit further away from you. Slowly but surely, with the use of the breath as a tool, the expansion, and then exhale, you move into the space that the belly created. You elongate that stretch of the lower back, as well as the hamstrings. Let the head just be heavy. And we begin to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly start stacking the shoulders. We're gonna go ahead and shift into the center mat if we're not already there. We're gonna bend our knees, use them as a guide post, or maybe you do one last little bit of core work as we slowly, 10 seconds, your 10 seconds might be different than mine, lower down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Lowering all the way down, engage the core. As we roll to the mat, we draw the knees into our chest, rocking side to side again like that, beginning of the practice, massaging the lower back. Coming back to center, let's go into happy baby, taking the knees out wider than the torso, palms of the hands to the soles of the feet, soles of the feet come up to the ceiling, drawing the knees down towards the earth, trying to press the lower tailbone, the lower vertebrae from the waistline down to the tailbone. Try to press that area into the mat. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. The shoulder blades are melting into the earth. If you feel so inclined, maybe you wanna rock back and forth here gently. Noticing what your body is craving and acknowledging, honoring it. After my happy baby, let's what I like to do is I like to bring the soles of the feet together again, kind of like that Baddha Konasana. Just bring the heels in towards the coccyx. Just draw your elbows down towards the earth. A nice stretch of the inner thigh, the groin area. And then we'll slowly guide the knees back into center. 
We're going to take our legs into the tabletop, so just 90 degree angle. We're going to take eagle legs. We're going to take the right leg, cross it over the left knee, and we're going to tuck the toes behind the calf. Take the left hand to the top of the right knee, and we're going to slowly guide the legs off towards the left as the right arm extends out to the side for a spinal twist. Shoulder blades start to melt into the earth. Gentle gaze towards that right hand. And slowly we'll bring the legs back up to the center. When twisting the eagle, the little pretzel, Knees come back 90 degrees, cross the left knee over top to the right, tuck the toes behind the calf, right hand to the left knee, so they cross it over, gazing up towards the left side, softening the shoulders, melting them down into the ground. Our gaze follows that left hand, spinal twist, slowing down the practice. Go ahead and slowly bring the knees back up to center. I'm twisting the little pretzel. Bring the knees in for a nice big hug. Extend that left leg off to the top of the mat as we retain that right leg into the heart center. Give it a nice big squeeze. We're going to go ahead and exchange. Extend the right leg off to the top of the mat as we give that left leg a nice big squeeze. And we'll send both legs off to the top of the mat as we get ready for just a little Shavasana, allowing the feet to fall open, the hips to soften. Take the hands just out alongside the body, palms face up. Shoulders drop away from the ears and melt into the mat. Create a little space between the teeth. The cheeks begin to feel like clouds and the eyes as soft as pillows. Dissolve away that little wrinkle between the eyes. Finding your place of peace of rest, Shavasana. Take a few moments just to connect with that flow of the breath, emulating waves, slow fluid inhales and slow fluid exhales. So the breath is rolling into the seashore and dissolving back into the great abyss. Stay in your Shavasana for a little longer if you like, or becoming aware, conscious of where the physical body is, we start to wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes. We'll reach the arms up overhead, stretch, fingertip to toe. Imagine taking that first morning stretch of the day, birds chirping, sun coming up over the horizon, sneaking through the window. And slowly we'll come off into fetal position on the right side of the body, drawing the knees into our chest, maybe using the right arm as a pillow underneath the head. Left arm just around our chest. Take a moment to come back to that loving kindness intention, drawing the energy in and sending it out. Gently push ourselves up into an easy seated position. Any easy seat that's comfortable for you. Keeping the eyes closed, roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale the arms up overhead. And exhale the hands to heart center. Thank you all for joining me for this practice of a slow flow vinyasa. My name is Emily. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, always please feel to write them down on the page. I hope you have a fantastic evening. I'll say Shanti, which means peace in Sanskrit, and Namaste, bowing from that which I know is divine within me to that which I know is divine within you. Shanti and Namaste. Thank you.